reasons to be an actor. Or not. Reason number one. I hate those dogs. Yes. Reason number one. You like storytelling. Rolling. So ever since I was young, I have always loved storytelling, whether that's hearing stories from my family or whether that's creating my own. And as an only child, I didn't have any brothers or sisters to hang out with, so I was always creating my own stuff, whether that was like me on the couch in a battle or I was a wizard, but it was always in the mindset of creating and being, being able to just kind of take my mind and go wherever I wanted to be. And I realized that I never really grew out of that. And so my number one thing I think for actors is the you gotta love telling stories. Movie with a rock star in it! Yes, yes! Reason number two, you're willing to put in the time and effort. The process of acting, people think it's just memorizing and showing up. It is not at all. A memorization is step one and there's like 50 other steps you have to do before you can show up and put in good work. So it takes so much time and a lot of it is on your own. You're just you know, going through the script, finding beats, finding moments, and then when you're ready, you show up and you're on set for hours and hours and hours, and you're doing the same shot. You're shooting it from one angle, you're shooting from the other angle, shooting it from a wide, shooting it from close-ups. So honestly, you can get through a page of dialogue in an entire day, maybe, and you've said the same six lines. So you need to be willing to put in time and a heck of a lot of effort, and trust me, it is not a quick and done thing. Big moments. Perfect. Number three. You are not afraid of failure. I'm gonna say that again. You're not afraid of failure. This one's big, guys. Acting is failing almost all of the time. I have a book of all the auditions I've been on and it is literally pages long and I have gotten maybe eight or nine of those. So of the hundreds of auditions that you go through, you are gonna hear no all the time. You're gonna hear no because of the way you look, because of the way you sound, because of the way you move. Failure is every single day in acting, but it's failing actually with yourself and coming to terms that in order to grow in acting, you have to fail. And if you're not failing, ask yourself why you're not failing and figure out how you can fail because if you're not failing, you're not taking the necessary risk. Fail. Number four. Spontaneity. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Did you? That was dumb. That was really dumb. Real talk, spontaneity is huge. I talked earlier about preparation, like putting effort in prep and really taking time to learn your stuff. You compiled all of it, you get there and you have to just throw it all away. Because end of the day, it's not about you. It's about the project. It's about what you're making. It's about your other actors. So you just have to take all that you've done and be prepared to unprepare yourself. Number five, be confident. Are you confident in your confidence? How confident in being confident are you? Confident one. When I say confidence, I don't mean arrogance. I don't mean thinking you're full of yourself. I don't mean walking around like I'm the man or I'm the woman or I'm the girl. I mean literally walking around, knowing yourself, knowing that no matter what gets thrown at you, you are bigger than it and doing just the best that you can with what you've got. That's it, perfect. Reasons not to go into acting. Number five, fame. <laughs> I'm so popular, no, no. If you are pursuing this profession uh, in search of fame, you're not gonna find fulfillment there. And most of the people that do have it, they don't want it. They don't want anything to do with it. Looking for fame is just gonna leave you empty and chances are guys, you're not gonna get it anyways. Reasons number four, money. If you know where to find it, tell me. <laughs> you want money? Go into banking. Reason number three, it's just not therapy. I only put this one in there because I think a lot of times when people think about acting, they want to go into it because they want to express them. They want to express themselves, which is great. If you're looking at just getting out personal pain and, um, you know, kind of you want to feel greatly, it may not be the best route because it's not often your story. You're taking on somebody else's story and you're molding a character around what somebody else wrote. So if you're trying to make it about you and you're trying to make it selfish, or if you're in a scene with somebody and all you're trying to do is emote emotion, you're not, you're not acting. Reason number two is judgment. Like 
Guys, life is hard. Like everyone's judging everybody all the time. We start off as babies and everything we want, we go for it. If we're hungry, we cry for it. If we have to go to the bathroom, we just as we age, we put on all these masks and we put on all these layers because of insecurity and people tell us things that aren't true or they are true or things we feel. And as we age, we kind of mold into a new being and it's all because of judgment. And acting, unfortunately, is a lot of judgment. Casting directors, they want you to be your best, but at the same time, you have to be able to just brush off all the judgment. Reason number one, immediate gratification. Hi millennials, request, friend, like, like me, now, 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 I need it now. Not with acting. Acting is a very long process. I've been like seriously doing acting for around seven, seven and a half years. You still don't know my name. <laughs> it's slow. It's every single day working on a little thing and it's growth over time. And that's kind of the beauty of it. It's, that's, what, that's what gives it weight for me. And I hope for you to want to, because that's the way that you can slowly build happiness throughout your life instead of looking for an immediate gain. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you like it, like it. If you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. I appreciate you guys as always. And I hope you enjoyed learning why and why not to become an actor. I'll see you next week.